Yeah. The window. Well, they went through the walls of the businesses. This is my dad's store, and they work him and my mom like work really hard, like come here every day to work. And uh, my brothers go to school, like me and my other brother in college. So they try to provide for us, and it's just annoying. And this isn't the first; it's the first time here, but it's happened at my grandpa's store. They've broken into plenty of times too, so it's just annoying, like having to deal with this because you're left with the mess. Wow! Like, look at that. Yeah, Place to place. Dang. Not just annoying, but absolutely devastating for these And they owners. didn't just steal, they caused a lot of vandalism to the mannequins and just the shop in general. Other valuables. There's no telling how many people were in here, how long they were in here. Business closed at four PM on Saturday and they're closed on Sundays. And they found this out at one this morning on Monday. So potentially they had more than twenty four hours to complete this heist. Back out here live, take a look at this hole. This is what it's like in multiple businesses, more than a dozen businesses. They not only cut a hole in this wall, but they'd walk upstairs and they'd cut holes up there too. And obviously you can't take too much stuff through these sort of holes, but I think they were here for again, that cash, those documents. And also these business owners are fearing that their identity could be stolen now that so many documents have been released. They are working on several GoFundMe's. We will post those on our website. That's very latest. We're live downtown. Back to you in Hollywood. Awesome. Look out that, Jennifer. Thank you. Hey. In January 2022. The Pacific Palisades woman was working. There he is. Look at him. Store when Smith That's him. Came in and stabbed her 26 times. The 34-year-old. There's my video. Murder charges with special circumstances of lying in wait and using a knife. Smith, who was homeless at the time, has an extensive criminal history stretching from California to North Carolina. He is facing life in prison without parole. In Pacoima, the man accused... I have that. I still have some real estate right here. And behind this door. I have some real estate up here on the ceiling because I do plan on putting a couple there. I got the bikers there. Fall guy. And my newest addition is ba -ba 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 -ba. Alien Red. Kind of apropos because I hadn't known, but the uh, actress in Alien is also the same actress in Civil War, the young photographer. Very cool. Long and gone, Roscoe's. Up until maybe four, five years ago, six years ago, this was a ra uh, radio shock. KFC still here, and much to my surprise, the other day when I was over here. I noticed they finally went down. This was the uh, vegan restaurant. I don't exactly know what this used to be though. 
architecture to me screams that this used to be a pup and taco uh, or something else but it just screams of pup and taco venue could could have been I'm sure something else but either way uh, I praise them because for being a vegan restaurant right here on Lake Avenue they uh, they withstood the lockdown so that's a lot especially since when they first opened up they were kind of not really you know but over over time they got to be really popular and they had a good clientele so it's really really sad to see another one biting the dust and all the while we have these very dystopian and chick-fil-a you know they've been in the papers like i think last week uh praising them i think they have a texas location or somewhere where they have four drive throughs really high tech really chick-fil-a you're proud being able to stuff disgusting food honestly i mean don't don't get me wrong it's good but the food altogether the structure is not as healthy as one would make at home so you're praising that you can do that at four times the amount now as another competing restaurant maybe down or up the street from you that's pretty disgusting honestly coming from a, a faith-based restaurant so Hey, not bad. Uh, after being up so early and running around, I, it's just a day of being able to run around because I have to go into work later. Fuck, dude. Uh, I'm already tired. And I got to go back to work again. And then I got to go back to North Lake. No. And discovered the following mornings. Dude. It is unclear if the thieves were that able sucks. To from those skimmers, but that if you especially in a convenience a mart or a cheap little liquor store always check that damn all right back up here again for the last time i hope uh before work but i wanted to show you today is like really beautiful i'm not sure what time it, or the temperature but it's pretty clear you can see the Oh, in no time at all, we should be having the pumpkin patch farm and maybe the Christmas tree farm. But look at that. You see Mount Wilson. Hey, big deer. It's a pretty day. Slight breezy. Not too hot, actually. I don't know, maybe 87, I would roughly guess. Bar's still not open. Getting something to eat. We're gonna see a movie first before uh, we clock in. Alien. Exciting events. You found your meeting place. Events. Book today. I was supposed to be runner tonight, but I was on Usher. So I was only a, it was just a four hour tonight. Like ushering, is there a lot of stuff? Or? It wasn't too bad. <laughs> you too. a bad evening 10 o'clock and it's like 68 degrees 67 kind of chilly yeah, it's not too bad actually overall it's clear evening
It is Wednesday morning, the 28th, 2024. It's about 11.40 in the morning. It's like 72 degrees. Something like that. Something. We are in Hollywood. It's our day off. We go back tomorrow. Nine, I think. To four. Look at the big Beetlejuice marquee. Advertisements. It looks pretty cool. Man, that really stands out, doesn't it? So viral. I don't know, it looks like Play Doh clay or something. That Beetlejuice experience it should be open, I think. It's back upstairs over there. We'll try and see it. what we see. Hey, I wonder if that, what was that, what was that place, a burger place or a taco place over there? I wonder if they're open. Look at that cool graffiti art. The afterlife experience. Yeah, that's what it is, the afterlife experience. Oh yeah, I think it might be open. We'll go over there and check it out. So it's over there. Ooh, that high pitch wine. And then as you can see, you go over down that way. And all the way. Oh, I think they changed some of the artwork. This upper area is so pretty. It still looks pretty pretty nice since hardly anybody ever comes up here so it's gonna be that whole thing it's like 30 bucks which isn't bad got to see some of it uh, early on the KTLA and it looks pretty cool very much very very much a um, what do you call it a uh, a must see oh shit sorry <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. For uh, anyone who does video and stuff like that, if they, you know, I mean, yeah. The, didn't get quite the hours as last time, so have to be a little reserved again. So, yeah. Say his name three times. Pretty cool, yeah? I think so. Hey, at least they're utilizing that space. And there's the Chinese. Well, they don't have any. I was kind of maybe, huh, I wonder if they're going to. Oh, but they do have a big Beetlejuice banner. I love this thing because it's very. From different angles, I'd love to be able to want to do a black and white still end video. It's very MC Escher esque. Certain vantage points, as you or anyone else can create. 
It's very cool. I love it. Oh. Yeah. This place has changed so much. Not just inside, but outside. So. I like the older way. Definitely had more earth um, tone versus this just black and white. Yeah. The window. burger is really good it very much was like a homemade burger it was a smash thin patty with um the the onions were like fried really nice and crispy and everything simple i, I think it was a like a brioche bun uh came with like uh the, just a regular house sauce like the mayo ketchup variety type and um And then it comes with the, uh, in a nice little, uh, kind of like an envelope, but not the traditional paper. It was made out of wax. So as to not cause any soggage, which is very clever. I like that because it's either to go or for there. Uh, and it was also, and it had a nice, it was very much like a dill, New York kind of a dill pickle. Really good. Very tasty and tangy. And it came with a little packet of uh, ketchup, which honestly, it didn't really need it, that, that sauce right there. And for $4 for a cheeseburger, I could have spent that much for a McDonald's and not really been happy. You know, and, and all I got was just a simple iced tea, so. So it was like seven something, you know. So honestly, it wasn't so bad. That is the most, by far, to me, it is the most affordable place to eat here at the ovation but uh it's really good uh if you you come over try it honestly and uh yeah. agatha all along that is very very clever marketing yeah look at that it's very detailed very good marketing i like it And like a head of like, um, like Halloween and stuff like that to have something that you can like touch and stuff like that. That's pretty cool. Mom, I love you. There's a couple of young ladies that are dressed over here. There's this one over here, and then there's that over there. I like hers over there. And she's got a bit of tinge of green in the back. Looks like she's got some more. Oh, she was at the experience. Uh -huh. Very cool. Fandom. You gotta love it. Okay, thank you. Uh, here, press pass, press pass. Phantom is all so cool, it's insane or completely obsessively cuckoo, cuckoo, it, it, it's, it's cool.
you gotta admit, you, you muses you when you see people like that, like Comic Cons or some sort of fest. Probably you and the significant other are like these kids. I don't know. I don't understand what they see in that. It's like 76 degrees right now. Midweek. That bus is cool. Once upon a time, from this brown column forward, this whole area was Crazy Gideon. Back in like the early 80s. Kind of like what we have nowadays, sprawled all over the place. But it was more exclusive. Crazy Gideon had like the most incredibly funny and high energy commercials. Oh, I'm crazy giddy and I'll get you a better deal. And he's just like smacking himself. Oh, hey, look. It was just, uh, it was so cool. I'm gonna try and see if I, I, I know I had some. I think I posted some last time, so. Crazy Gideon. It is a beautiful day. in the background every now and then. And then over here we have this. So it has been quite busy back over here. There's the cool music. Uh, 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 uh. 